It's amazing how a nail shape can change your entire mood. One of the best things I taught myself was how to shape my nails perfectly. So today I'm going to take you through the hottest shapes that are really beautiful on everyone. I hope you guys enjoy these techniques. They really helped me. And this video is packed with information, so definitely take notes. My favorite kind of file that I'll be using for this tutorial is a 180 grit file. This is much stronger than your typical over-the-counter file. You'll have to find this at a beauty supply store and it makes light work and very quick work of filing. I'm using a press-on today and this is a rather long press-on. I love these. They're really easy to work with. I'm going to take a small pair of scissors and for the first shape, we're going to keep it really simple. I'm going to take off some of the length. And my best tip is to always leave more than you think you need. So slide your scissors down to something that seems way too long for you because you're going to be filing these down and it's better to be able to have a little bit of extra length and remove it later than wish your nails were longer. Making sure that your nails are even is key. You can see that this side is a little bit longer. So what I'm going to do is show you a technique just to make sure that you're filing your nails down without making them shorter, but making them even. So don't take the file and align it with the nail because one side is longer. What you're going to do is just take down the length, but you're not going to fix the asymmetry. What's really important when you're filing your nails is to be really conscious of what you're doing with the file. So take really close note of what's happening. You can see there's a little bit of a gap between the file and the shorter end of the nail. I want to maintain that gap as I file down the longer end until the file aligns with the nail. Always stop and assess the nail a little more often than you think you need to. That way you don't move forward with a mistake that you'll need to correct later. Now since the nail is even, I'm going to align the file with the nail and take it down a little bit in length and smooth it out to give it a really clean, sharp edge. This is called the squoval. Because of the tips I'm using, they taper in a little bit on the ends. I'm going to call this a squoval and not a square. I love this shape. It's refined and it's a little more modern than a typical square. Now, this is going to be more advanced. I'm going to show you something that's a really sexy, beautiful shape, and it's going to require me to cut a little bit more off of both ends. So when you're cutting, you want to make sure that you envision a small little arrow going down the center of your nail. This is going to help you with your symmetry, which is always key when it comes to shaping nails. Now, the biggest mistake when it comes to creating a stiletto nail is people don't really reference the thicker area, which is the middle of the nail. So when they start to file, they'll leave a gap there and that can make the tip really skinny and the middle really fat, which is just a bad level of proportion for a stiletto nail. What I'm going to address with the file is that middle area and remove some of the girth of that nail so that it looks daintier and more feminine. My file will naturally start to align with the tip of the nail. This is when you'll notice that the smoothness of the nail starts to take shape and it looks a lot more like a stiletto. We're going to taper both sides and make sure that we're keeping in mind that middle line that goes down to create evenness and symmetry. So now that I've tapered it off, I'm noticing there's a little bit of waviness on the one side, so I'm going to taper that down a little bit more and then I'll start shaping the tip into a perfect sharp stiletto. Here we have one of the most dramatic and edgy nails that you can wear. These are very sharp. If you find them to be too sharp, all you have to do is remove some of the tip, like a tiny bit, so that it's a little bit more dull. And this is a very beautiful nail. It's called the stiletto, like I mentioned. It's one of the most sexy and edgy nails that you can wear. To start off this next shape, I'm going to remove some of the sides and I'm also going to remove a little bit of the tip and I'm leaning towards more of an oval cut as I remove some of the excess nail. This is what's going to make it really easy to file. So this one is a little bit different. The technique I always find to pay attention to rhythm is to get a beautiful shape in the end. So what I'm doing is I'm kind of creating a rhythm, filing, adjusting, filing, adjusting, filing, adjusting all the way around the nail. So what I'm doing is filing several times, kind of keeping count of how many times I file and rotating my hand on a really specific angle. This is just the way that my brain works and this is the way I like to round out a nail. This is going to give it a really dainty feminine appearance and it's going to also look really smooth and well done. This is the oval nail and it's a hot shape, but since it's so smooth and round, it brings in the romance and femininity that I love in my nails and it makes it really easy to wear for every day since it's not sharp. I saved the best for last. This is my personal favorite and my signature nail style, which I love to wear extra long. So I'll remove just a little bit off of the end and then taper in the sides before I start filing. 
Just like we did with the stiletto nail, remove some of the width of the nail and make sure that you file that down before you start tapering in the ends. Otherwise your ends are going to look way too skinny and the middle of the nail will really look thick and chunky. Pay attention to moving back and forth so that you're not filing one side down too short or too thin and then make sure that you're also keeping in mind that invisible line down the center of the nail to keep perfect symmetry. Once I feel that I've achieved the symmetry I want and I've tapered down the way that I like, I'm going to remove some of the length and also even out the tip of the nail and that's going to give it its final shape. Again, coffin is my for sure my favorite style of nail. I think this looks so beautiful. Let me know in the comments which style was your favorite. I think I covered all of the most popular ones. I did my nails in a coffin style today actually and I kept them in a black dipping powder which is like so beautiful. So if you guys like this tutorial, I'll leave a dip powder tutorial I did last week down below. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.